Hello YouTube, this is TJ, and I am back to show you another video of my iPod Touch. Well, I'm going to give you a little bit of help. I have a 2G iPod Touch. Let's put on bright brightness a little bit. Okay, I have a 2G iPod Touch. Um, those are the little rockers right there. I have a case over it, but this is a 2G. Take my word for it. Now uh, it is jailbroken. I do have multitasking on it. Now this, I will show you how to. For one, how to get like sometimes my iPod crashes when this runs out. Is 50 megabytes. Sometimes the iPod crashes when it runs out. So, what I'm going to show you today is how to make it not crash and basically more memory. So, first thing you need to download is multitasking for your iPod Touch. It needs to be multitasking separately, it cannot be multitasking with other things like features or whatnot. It has to be multitasking separately. So, you have to go. It has to be multitasking separately. It makes it go faster. It doesn't. It's no lag to it. As soon as you press it, is as soon as it opens. Other ones, press it, wait a little, wait a little, wait a little, and then it opens. But this one, as soon as you press it, it has a 4G feel. Okay, now you need backgrounding. So this, this is going to be the video. This is, yeah, I mean, you need backgrounder. Okay, so let's start off with calendar. I'm going to open up all these apps. Okay, so I just opened Calendar, and it's 10 times faster, as you can see. Now what you want to do is, it says 41 megabytes, put it in backgrounding. Backgrounding enabled. So right now I have Calendar open. Let's open up Photos. Okay, put that in backgrounding. Let's open up. Contacts. I have no contacts, so it's gonna say no contacts. Put that in backgrounding. And I still have 33 megabytes left. Usually it will be like 8 megabytes. YouTube, this is gonna kill the processor, but still, look at this. This is gonna let it keep on going. I typed in how to open apps faster. I wasn't looking at any videos. This is my vid that I really found out. Background and enabled. Let's put down the brightness just a tad bit again. Okay. That's in background. So I have one, two, three, four things in backgrounding and 27 megabytes. So now let's open stocks. Okay. Put that in backgrounding. Now. Now we're going to open maps. Now these apps are just like regular apps that I'm just going through. Okay. That's in backgrounding. Now as you can see, it might slow up. It's 11 megabytes. Put that in backgrounding. Exit out of that. Now as you can see, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 apps in backgrounding. When it's 6, every 6 apps this is what I do. I go to processes. You have to have SB settings for this. SB settings, you can find it in City. I just, I think everybody has that. It's a, it's a must-have app. 25 megabytes, and I still have all of these in backgrounding. And the reason why I say multitasking is because they work together. They, 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 they just, like with those two, you just easily fit through it. The ones in back, it makes it go way faster. So every app you have will go into multitasking. Every app you have. And look, look at the processor. 21 megabytes left. Okay. So let's put another app into backgrounding. And let's do let's do a hard app. Like already okay, App Store. 
As you can see, it says 14 megabytes. It went all the way down to 14 megabytes, 8 megabytes, 14 megabytes, 8 megabytes, 9 megabytes. It is reading out. Kill the processor is what it's doing. Saying that the 2G iPod Touch, the 2G, has uh, 541, I think 541 H MHZ process. I think I read it offline, so I'm not really sure of what I'm saying, but I know what I'm talking about. It doesn't have a big processor like the iPod Touch 4. This is the iPod Touch 2. So, uh, as you can see, I'm in the App Store. Let's put that in the background. 17 megabytes left. 16 megabytes, 15. Let's do this again. Oh, no, 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 no. Because if I do it again, then it's going to kill all my apps. Okay, and I could still go through. And no sluggishness is in, like, none at all. It's going as quick as I want it to. Maps. This is the best. You have to have, I'll put it in the description, backgrounder and multitasking. I'm telling you, these are worth it. And let's go to YouTube. I have 11 megabytes. I'm going to clear the processor. Just give me one second. Okay. Now let's kill the processor real quick. Let's clear the... I keep saying processor. Let's kill the apps on that's running up the processor. But, uh... It's still gonna load up quick. Just do it one time when it goes down, and after when it goes under 12, use SB settings to go to processes, free up memory. If it's not under 12, do not do it, or else it'll kill all your apps. Not break it, not do anything. You're not gonna do anything bad. It's just that look. If I do it, Thirty-four megabytes. Everything in the background is gone. It's gonna take time to load up now. Oh wait, dang! It's not taking time to load up. Yes, it is. It is taking time to load up. See, it's gonna take longer to load up if you kill it. Like some apps, the App Store. I just went to that. That's why it's like that. But YouTube. Let's go to YouTube. See, it's going to take longer to load up because I just killed that. I just did it again. The process is so never do it if it's only do it when it's lower than 12. And you think that you might. Okay. I know this is a long review. This is going to be. But now let's do. I just found out a new app. And call, it's called Remove Backgrounding. And I put it to swipe down, and everything is removed. 43 megabytes. Everything is removed. And then it doesn't remove everything. So I'll go back to Processes, Free Up Memory. 55 megabytes. Okay, now, wait one second. I gotta get something. Okay, I just plugged in my where's it at my mic it's a mic that goes to the iPod touch it's headphones and it has a mic to it now what this is is voice control I put this on it you have to have install this and it's called uh what is it called it's called Controlo Vocalo. But you gotta type in Vocalo. V O C A L A. And install this. Click on it. Well, you know what? I'm gonna undo that. Let me clear my background out. This is what I do I put it to hold like a real one. And it's a say command. And I'm gonna say one second. Okay. Okay.
switch to contacts. One second. Switch to contacts. It's supposed to switch over to contacts when I say that. Okay, there we go. It just switched. I swear I'd not do that. But, um, okay, now I'm going to say play, I don't know, uh, Eminem. 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 Well, right now it's not responding, but, uh, uh, Nicki Minaj. It's not the iPod, it is the headphones. These are old headphones, I'm telling you, because I just used my mini mic. I put the little mic in there. It's like a mini mic. I put it in there, and it works perfectly fine. It has, like, the best recognition that you'll ever hear I mean ever see but I'm serious it does work this is very useful oh that's why it wasn't working it was still on contacts okay let's try that one more time because I really want to show you guys this let's put it to music Nicki Minaj your love that's only song that I have on here with Nicki Minaj so yeah okay and this is it thank you goodbye